Yeah. Here on the homestead. Okay, what's this little chicken farm? Actually, it lives a chicken farm. I just do all this stuff around. So, so. I've been informed that the chickens need uh, feeding troughs. And I'm going to make some. This is my plan. This is a little thin wall uh, PVC. I'm going to have to make two of these. And what I'm going to do, I already I cut it to my length and made a couple of notches in the ends. I'm going to draw me a straight line on them. I'm going to cut it so I can take this top out. And then, uh, in theory, I should be able to cap the ends with something, say, like a coffee cup. And uh, then, she's going to put the new feed we're using. Uh, previous video where we put the chickens on a diet. Uh, again, we were taking other people's advice on how to feed the chickens. And apparently, we were overfeeding the chickens. Uh, a fat hen is not a laying hen. Uh, a fat hen is not necessarily a happy hen. That rooster that we butchered, he had more fat on his heart than he had meat in his heart. So that's not healthy. So we're redoing it. There'll be a video on the on the it's uh, fodder and uh, fermented fermented feed. So. And yes, we could just go buy the little metal trays from the store down the road. That doesn't exactly make us self-sufficient, does it? Besides, I already had the pipe. You can make a little canoe for the chickens. Ta-da. It is kept the ends. You can put like little hangers. Look, hang it. Now let's just set on the ground. Hang it. Yeah. And then, when she gets ready to fill it, she'll lift it up. And be able to like fill it up here where the chickens aren't going to bother her. And then if she gets full, then she'll put it down and boom. And she Pretty small. That's that was it. I decided not to record me like running the saw and stuff because and this is the coffee thing. I'd say uh, oh yeah, like the coffee. See, it's like the and on this thin wall pipe. I forget what schedule this is. It's just like a sewer line. When I hired the professional contractor to come in and put in my new septic system, he left this piece. And I'm just repurposing it. We all we hire professionals to do all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's it. Uh, serious note though. The reason we're doing this is because apparently you can like double the amount of food the chicken gets out of the feed. And I may be wrong on that, but like, uh, like if instead of having to feed them three pounds of feed a week or whatever it is, I don't thought that was. But then we can cut cut it in half, but the chicken will actually do better because their poop's not undigested food. Their poop poop. So we'll see how it goes. I'm flying something different. I'm going to try to heat up that piece of PVC I cut out. Let's see if I can flatten it down and make plastic covers. Then I ain't got to worry about them right now. I built just enough fire to cook my lunch. Y'all aren't, aren't experiencing this, but I'm, I'm about to go crazy. Wait fire to get back up to where I can get the stuff like have a heat gun around here somewhere but that'd be cheating for you doubters
Be right back. Be right back. Almost got too hot. Don't take much. You can heat this with a heat gun. It's a lot safer. And if you've got one, a hot a hair dryer won't get hot enough. But a regular heat gun will. And while it's after it gets all the way back to hard, you can't really do much with it. But while it still soft, can't. Hey, I think this lagern is egg bound. Uh, chickens. Where was it? Oh yeah. Anyway, while it's still warm, you can cut it with tin snips or you can cut it with a knife, but you wind up cutting yourself and you can get you some snips or something. Some good heavy scissors, not them cheap old fisker things. Uh, I was doing the wood burning stove to see if it could answer yet. And if y'all didn't miss that, uh, if you're going to get back to your chickens, be aware there are so much more to chickens than putting food out and water out and going and collecting eggs. Um, she come in and one of uh, the our hands that had just recently started laying was an egg bound. If you catch it, and we got lucky this time, we've lost a hen to be an egg bound before. It's kind of a bad way to go. We didn't recognize it for what it was. We know what to look for now. Uh, and we went out there, calmed the hen down. There's a little bit of massage you do or whatever. Not a vet. I'm not going to show you how to do it. Uh, we went to a vet site. Paid money to learn it. Go learn it. Okay. But yeah. Chickens are a lot of work. But we love them, so it's worth it to us. Yeah. Reheat tab, made them over. Should have gloves on because they're hot. Held them until they burned up. Now I'll drill a pilot hole in here. Put two little screws on there. Notice this is open. That's not a watering trough. It's going to be out. We want uh, we want the, if, if it does rain, we want the rain, rain to run out. We don't want we don't want them standing in water. So anyway, yeah, one more to go. Now put it together and. Uh, I'll put a picture of the finished product at the end. Ta da! I need like a big button. I need like a phone, like this big one. You know, maybe I should just like go be as a tight one, go buy a camera. Thought not. Blah, blah, blah. I couldn't get it in the, in the picture. And you still see what it was. Here's your picture of it. You just gotta keep chicken for you. Counting interruptions. Uh, about 30 minutes knocked together. Not a bad deal. And Okay, baby. Oops. <laughs> there are you coming in a bit side. We want to tell you that I turned it on a while ago. Okay, yeah, it works. But it should be high enough that they can't scratch it out. Not to Elvis get off of it, you're going to spill it. Okay, I may have to like tie it a little different. But yeah, okay, works. <laughs>